G'day everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here. This week um, we're talking about a really interesting finding of a controversial medical treatment. Now there's been some suggestion for quite a long time now that umbilical cord blood might actually help support um, brain development. Now the rationale for this is that umbilical cord blood includes a whole lot of cells, uh, including stem cells that might help reduce brain inflammation. Now really importantly, there's not a great deal of evidence for that rationale, and there's also not a great deal of evidence that um, brain inflammation might be more common in people on the autism spectrum, and that is why this is so controversial. The study we've linked to this week is the largest ever study of umbilical cord blood and the effects that it might have during early intervention for kids on the spectrum. So what happened was that there was 180 kids aged between two and seven years of age. Now a third of the kids um, received an infusion of umbilical cord blood, which was their own. It was banked back uh, when they were um, born. Uh, the other, another third received uh, an infusion of umbilical cord blood, which was somebody else's. Um, and another third uh, received uh, a um, placebo. Now, after that single infusion of, of cord blood or placebo, the kids were then followed up six months later. And it was a really interesting finding. What they found was that there was absolutely no difference between the kids receiving cord blood and the kids who received a placebo in terms of their developmental or behavioral outcomes, no difference whatsoever. So the take home point here is that this really large and quite well conducted study uh, found that uh, umbilical cord blood actually provided no additional benefit to the developmental behavioral characteristics of the kids. So at the moment, there is no evidence that stem cells or umbilical cord blood infusions uh, is effective uh, uh, for uh, during the early intervention uh, period for kids on the spectrum.